Welcome back everyone. Well, last year the Crestwood Boys Soccer Program did something that hadn't been done at the school in 22 years. Captured a District 2 AA championship. Having the target on their back, the Comets are ready to take on their competition and fight to defend that title. Last year, Crestwood goalie Aiden Zabogalski had to wait in the wings for his chance in the net. Then senior Lance Lisiak helped lead the Comets to their first district title in 22 years last season. But Aiden picked up right where Lance left off, showing he's right where he belongs. Earlier in the week, at an exciting Wyoming Valley Conference Division I showdown versus Tung Canick, he picked up nine saves as Crestwood got the 3-2 win. This is my first year starting, uh, so to come in this year, I have a big position to fill. Everyone helps. Uh, I'm just trying to do the best that I can. Aiden, we've been, we came into the season looking for a keeper, and Aiden definitely has stepped up and fulfilled, his, fulfilled that role. We have a lot of chemistry together. A lot of us have been playing together since you know, our club when we've been eight and nine years old. We work well together, especially our attacking, our top three. We've just been picking the ball around, playing well together. Well, I think about nine, nine or ten of us are all returning, so I mean, we've been here for quite a while. We've been playing since we were little kids. We all know what we're doing together, we just have to get our chemistry back together. Besides a solid defense and goalkeeper, the Comets boast tons of speed, many times simply outrunning their opponents in a race to the goal. Speed is always good, uh, especially in today's game, it's the modern game. We play a very, very passing oriented game with a lot of movement, so naturally speed is the key. And it's nice to have someone who can just beat someone with their feet. Can't complain there. Dylan Prone, I mean, he's, I think he's the fastest player in the conference. He makes it. He makes it easy, easier for me, much easier for me, creating chances. He, he creates a lot of space for me with his runs. They gotta always track him, know where he's at. Strikers are always there for a long through ball from the mids. Mids always control whether it's defensive, a ball coming in, or they can play it up to those strikers. And our defense, as you may have saw tonight, was solid in keeping the ball out, passing it back. We have great communication. That's what holds us together as a team and helps us win games. The team knows they have the target on their back, so to speak, as returning district champs. But head coach Michael Stevenson has a good analogy he likes to use. I'd rather be the hunted than the hunter, so that's what pretty much I told them. Uh, get used to it quickly and just play your game. Just have fun out there. Our offseason was quite intense because we knew that teams were going to be coming out for us because of where we were standing. So we just had to work harder than we did before and just make sure that we keep up the streak that we had going. We come back from that, we know we have a target on our back. Last year, you know, we wanted Coughlin, they had the target on their back. Now we're in their position. Everybody wants us, so we just got to gotta stay composed, keep get, uh, getting towards the goal. The Commons have plenty of talent left to face this season, but they think there's a good chance they could play to defend that district title. Uh, we have a game coming up on Thursday against Dallas, who we know are, have always been a good opponent, and this year especially they will be. Coughlin, who's always great to play, and uh, that's always a great matchup. And we're just looking to play our game and uh, control. I think that's the key. Just, just keep playing, focusing on what they're supposed to do. Don't worry about the other stuff. That'll come. Just focus on what, what their task is, what their job is, and work as a unit. If we repeat district champs, as you, you, know, you know, we haven't done that in a long time, and to come back and do it again, it'll really show that we deserved it last year, this year again, and for many years to come. It's going to take a lot of hard work, and I think we have the guys that are willing to do it. Up next, what exactly is an athletic trainer? And you'll meet North Schuylkill running back Major Jordan.